the Horizon effect, guys. Everybody knows we've been talking about Kevin Costner's huge epic saga that he's been trying to get off the ground, left Yellowstone for, just trying to continue the momentum going because he likes being that person who keeps working. But he also said that he makes movies for men. So, eh. Eh. Anyway, (laughs) Kevin Costner's Horizon American Saga Chapter 2 will no longer be hitting theaters on August 16th anymore. At this time, the film remains a theatrical release, but it is unclear when it will actually come out. Now, Territory Pictures and New Line Cinema have decided not to release Chapter 2 on August 16th in order to give audiences a greater opportunity to discover the first installment of Horizon over the next couple weeks, including when it hits POVD and on Max. Hopefully people will get it. Um, The film is now set to hit those on July 16th at least for POVD, but a max release date has not yet been announced. They're still trying to figure all that out. The decision is changed. The release date was mutual, according to sources, uh, and hopes to offer audiences more time to find the first film and build that anticipation for the second (laughs) film to come out. Now, in order for this Western franchise to survive to its planned for movies, the first two of which were already shot back-to-back, Sources said it needs to capture more eyeballs on streaming. So we're only going to see what's going to happen. Time will tell. Um, But I think we'll probably see the second one. But, well, we'll definitely see the second one whenever it comes out, whether it's going to be straight to streaming or they actually give it a theatrical release date. But I I have very, very high reservations about whether or not we'll see three and four. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, and, and why do you say that? Be- I agree with you, and it's for these reasons. Costner and his filmmaking team locked picture on Chapter 2 on June 23rd, the night before the first one came out. So that if you guys aren't familiar with the term locked picture, it means it's done. It's good to go. It's ready. Uh, so he began production on the third film back in mid-May, taking a pause to promote the first film at its world premiere at the Cannes Film Festival. And then, of course, he was touring the movie around the U.S. Now, filming on Chapter 3 is expected to resume in mid-August, uh, and key members of the crew have also apparently already received the script for Chapter 4. Now, as we told you last week, Costner put up a hefty chunk of his own money to get the Western film franchise made. On its opening weekend, we also told you Chapter 1 only made $11 million after costing $100 million to make. So I'm right there with you. Um, I don't think 3 and 4, even though they say they've begun production, that doesn't mean that they'll finish production. I, I just – and and I, can't, I, I, I really want to hear your thoughts on this. But I think that this move might backfire because they – We talked about this. The studio didn't financially back this thing. It was Costner and private investors. When they see the money, because I do think that this will make money on, on, on VOD. I do. And the reason being is it's three hours long. People sometimes don't want to invest paying for a $20 movie ticket and sitting three hours in a movie theater. But they will pay for it on video on demand because you can come back to it. You can watch part of it, get up, do what you got to do, come back, watch a little bit of more of it, and finish it. So it's likely to see money made on VOD. That's why I think it's going to backfire. These investors are going to be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're making some money there. Will we make our money back? I don't know. But we're making money on VOD, and then, of course, they're going to get the licensing fee on Max to stream it on Max, so they're going to see a chunk of money there. And they're going to go, if, and by the way, I don't know, but are all of these things three hours long? Because, again, you're not selling a lot of tickets when it's three hours long. And if they see an opportunity to even make an inkling of their money back, I think they're going to put pressure on the distributors to say, just fucking keep it on streamers and 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 don't theatrically release it and then they're gonna butt heads with costner right because costner makes movies for theaters and makes movies for so i don't know what are your thoughts on that do you think this is a smart idea or do you think this is gonna backfire i mean i have a couple of different ideas about what's actually gonna happen i mean i don't know if we'll ever actually get to a fourth film but i wonder if because with the second film already being completed already locked shut good to go ready to come out but just waiting on the right time I'm wondering if the third film 
whether it be they release it as a limited series or they just try to combine the third and fourth film together to fasten up that storyline quicker just so that they can get it out there, which, I mean, let's be honest about it. We've said this before. A lot of critics have said it. It's written like a television show. It so is. So if the third one came out as a limited series, if they're already going to possibly strictly release this thing POVD or through streaming... I mean, it would only make sense for it to come out as a limited series on HBO or Max, whatever, which have you. But, I mean, yeah, it's going to be very interesting because, yeah, like you said, he is very much, he's kind of like Tom Cruise in that regard, just not as outspoken about wanting a theatrical release date. He wants to make movies for the theaters, and don't we all? Don't we all as filmmakers? Absolutely. But if you love your story and if you love that payday, you're just going to get it made and you're going to put it out there no matter what, in my opinion. I don't think it's going to be like a Wu-Tang album where they make one copy of it and you're never going to hear it. You're never going to see the light of day. Right. Um, so I just there's a couple of different options, but I think they're going in my opinion. I think it's the best idea to try to consolidate the story in the best way possible because if they all are three hours long six nine 12 hours over four movies that's yeah. insane that's literally half of a day to watch a yeah. freaking movie i mean i just i don't think there's any good way around it just because it was all it was all executed in such a bad way because of the negative press from leaving Yellowstone and then with, you know, having to put up so money with it being such a financial gamble because there's more points that I'm going to bring up later down the line about new and not established IP because I kind of see where the entertainment industry is at least going to sit for the next 10 years at least, I feel like. But I just... There's no good way to approach this situation. I think it's a not a lose-lose situation as far as fans. It's a lose-lose situation as far as distributor and production. That's yeah. my opinion. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, though, I like what you said about the limited series idea because it's proven fact, too, after, after all the research came in that Yellowstone fans did not go see this movie. Mm -hmm. They did not show up. But I think they will show up if this thing's on television. And even more yeah. so if it's spread out as a series and they can watch episodes, I think they will show up. So um, that's a very interesting concept to say, hey, let's put the rest of these things out as limited series instead of films and, and run and gun with it. Uh, I mean, that we'll see. He needs to grab those Yellowstone fans, though, in my opinion, to make this have any shot at a success. And he did not do that with the first one. So we'll see. Yeah, we will. But, man, oh, man, it's going to be interesting to see what happens because, yeah, with theatrical versus streaming, what, what happens to the box office meeting the future release plans? Are they going to still be submitted by large slates, theatrical releases, or will continue to see more and more streamers releasing bigger and bigger movies?